Today I'm gonna teach you how to solve a three by three Rubik's cube using a beginner method. After scrambling the cube, you would want to make a daisy, which is make find the yellow centerpiece, and is right here. Now make the the yellow centerpiece at the top. Now it's at the top. After you've done that, you look onto the bottom, the white centerpiece, if there's any white edges. There is a white edge, so what you do is just turn it 180 degrees until it comes up, and then you find another one, turn it 180 degrees. Okay? Um, anyways, after you made that, you're gonna find, if you just do that over and over again if there isn't. But if, if you scramble it, there's like partly of the daisy, and then you have one, you have a white down here, you turn it 180 degrees, but it didn't came up because you have to first check if the top and the bottom, if there's a white on top of it, like there's a white right here, white right here. So you can't do that, because if you do that, it would just come up and you're just doing that over and over again until something comes up. So what you do is turn the top once and then turn 180 degrees so that that could come up. So after you do that, you're going to find another piece, but there, if there isn't, you're gonna find a white edge piece on the first layer. There's one right here, so you turn it 180 degrees, but this is supposed to swap. So what you do is turn once back, turn it until there's no white, so there's a white right here, there's a white right here, Oh, there isn't a white edge piece right here, so you turn it up. After you did that, you made the daisy. After solving the daisy, you will want to make a cross. With, yeah, just make a cross. So first, you find a random edge piece like this. You match it up. So no, basically, you find a edge piece the white one you find it the color the other color is blue so you match it up with the blue turn it 180 degrees till it comes down find another one match it up turn it 180 degrees down so it comes down find another piece match it up and match it up and now turn 180 degrees now you see this one right here it's green so you match it with green 180 degrees and you made the cross with these things matched up after solving the cross you will want to make the first layer so what you do is you find a random corner piece that's white like this there's a corner piece that's white on the top so you find that the colors are white orange and green you don't have to go with that but i just found that first though and then you just put it in between the white orange center pieces like this basically that's in between them do this algorithm up, twist, down, like that. Which goes, if you know how to read coding, that's very easy. So basically you just do this. Un okay, so after you see that, do it one more time. If, if they match up, you turn it down, turn it back over, it comes down these you'll you have to first see if this is matching with the edge because if it looks like this it's not right so you have to do this so it looks right so you find another piece which is this one put it in so the colors are red and blue so you put it in between the red and blue center um center pieces so it is in between so up twist down Okay, look, it came down, but that's not really the right place. So you have to continue doing it. Okay, matched, turn it down. Okay, it's in the right spot. So you find another piece right here. So you just do, you just put it in between. It is in between, so first you just put it in between. Oh, you matched, turn it down. And it's in the right spot. Now you find the other one. Oh, it's right here. It's also in the right spot already. So up. Now 
Now you solve the first layer. Second step, you're gonna solve the second layer. If the top color is yellow, then you find a piece of that yellow. So there's a piece right here. Um, the colors are orange, I mean blue, no, orange and blue. So if blue is facing you, you match it up with the blue, because you can't match it up with the orange because the orange is on the top. So if it's on the blue, the top color is orange and where's the orange centerpiece on the left or the right? If it's on the left, you turn it to the right. So you basically move it away. After you moved it away, you have to do the algorithm, but you don't do it on the right side because you turned it to the right side. So you have to do it on the opposite side. So basically the second layer is kind of like opposite. So basically, um, the top is here, so you turn it to the opposite side and do the algorithm on the opposite side that you turn it away. Like, you turn it to here, so you do it on this side. Up, twist, now, back over. Wait, wait, never mind. It's up, twist, down, back over. After you did that, the white is here, so you rotate to here, and then do the algorithm on the right because you did it on the left. So up, twist, down, back over, and here you go. You solve this. You put it down without messing everything up. Um, so for the next step is, you find a piece without yellow on it, which is here. You, the green, it's green, so you match it up with the green. It's red on the left or the right. If it's on the left, you turn it away, right? And now you do the algorithm on the left. So it's up, twist, down, wait, no. Up, twist, down, back over. So it's basically like that. Do it once, you turn, rotate, do the algorithm like this, up, twist, down. And then you solve another one. Now you find another piece without white on it, which is here. You match it up. Um, top color is orange, so it's orange on the left or the right. If it's on the left, you turn it to the right, do the algorithm on the right, because yeah, because it's here, so you turn it away, and it's opposite. So basically you do on the other side that you turn it away, so it's on the orange side. And then it white's here, you rotate. Okay, find another piece with a yellow, you're here, match it up. Top color is red, so red is here, turn it away. Up, twist, down, once. Okay, so basically you turned it away so you do another the red side and then um what is here so you rotate and do the algorithm on the left side after you did that you solved the second layer well for example you did you have something that looks like this which is like this and you have so for example you have no more pieces that um that's not that's they're all yellow okay and you have one down here, but the one down here has to be flipped around. So you just do the algorithm from anywhere. Like, well, you have to do it from here or here. So you just do the algorithm up, twist, down, back over. You brought it up, but you have to bring this back down. So what you do is rotate and then do the algorithm like that. And then you brought it up and you just insert it with the algorithm. But if you have something that looks like this, let me first make it. Um, something like this. You also don't have any yellow on the top. And where is the piece that's supposed to be on the top? It's here, so you just do the algorithm. That's supposed to be flipped around, like up, to the back over. Came up, so you rotate like that. And now you brought it up and then you just do the algorithm, turn it away and it's here, so that. And then you brought it up from here. Now, and then just solve it. So after you did that, it must be very easy for second layer. For the next step, you're gonna solve a yellow cross. Solving the top cross, if you start by having a dot, you will wanna just Turn the front, do the algorithm I taught earlier, turn it back. 
Now you've got a L. It might seem a lot hard because, you know, it's gonna be hard because when you, you, you try to solve it, you're trying to solve side by side, and it's very hard to solve a side without messing everything up. So we're gonna do a very simple algorithm. If you have an L, like this, you hold it like this until these two are on the, until um, this piece and this piece is on the right, with something on the bottom. But if you hold it like um, this, there's two on this side, but there's one down here. But you're not solving, you're, you're ignoring the corners. You're, not, you're, not, you're solving the cross, not the corners. So if you're solving the corners, you're not supposed to look at the corners. You're supposed to solve the edge, look at the edge pieces. So you have to see the edge pieces is down here and it's not supposed to be here. So it's like that. Now you turn the front once like that. Do the algorithm I taught up, twist, down, back over. Turn the front back. After you did, you have a line. You rotate it so it's horizontal. Or you can just turn the top but turn the top until it's horizontal. Turn the front up to the algorithm. Undo the front move, and you made a cross. After you make a cross, you're trying to match up all of this. So you first um, find a piece. Um, so you match up as many as you can, so you match up two. If you match up all of them, then you skip the step. That's very nice. Um, so you match up two, if you, and then put one in the back, one in the right. But if you didn't match up two, you only match up one here and across from each other, then just do this algorithm, and then you will get something that looks like this, and then you just do it again. So hold one in the right, one in the back, like the one that you matched up like that. And put the unsolved one, like one in the front, one in the left. After you did that, See, this algorithm is very similar than the algorithm we just did. It's like this. And if you did that correctly, you should be able to solve all of them. After you match everything up, you're gonna find a corner that's in the right spot like this. So you do this, if you don't have any that's matched up, just do this, follow my algorithm and you have to have something that's matched up. So after you did the algorithm for people who didn't have any, you just do the algorithm and then you look around until you find one in the right spot. So first you, there's a very fun algorithm to memorize. I memorized it in one day because it's very fun. So first you turn the top with the right hand and right side up, turn the top with the left hand left side up. After you did that, you do everything downward, which is like this. Turn the top with the right hand, right side down. Turn the top with the left hand, right, left side down. If you did that and none of them are in the right spot, do that again. And do everything on the left side, left, left side up, do everything downwards, right side down, left side down. And now all of mine are in the right spot. After you got all of them in the right spot, for me, I only have to flip two, but you might have to flip more. So first, this step might be one of the most challenging ones because, I mean, yeah. If you mess up one move, you have to restart the whole entire thing. That happened to me when I was teaching, when I was getting taught by my friend. I restarted like four times because I messed up. So I hope you don't mess up. So, anyways, you have a, you, you find a piece, a, a color that you like, that has yellow with it, drawn right here, okay? And then these two, if there's a yellow right here or here, there's a yellow right here, so I do the algorithm. Up, twist, down. Do the algorithm until it goes down. And also, don't do it that fast, because when I was doing it too fast, I messed up. Okay, anyways, you just find another yellow piece, it's right here, so turn it. No yellow right here. Yes, yellow right here, so you do the algorithm. Up, twist, down, back over. Up, twist, down, back over. And then you just do that. And then you solve the cube. Ah, 
that was pretty hard for me, which when I memorized it, watch some videos a lot of times, but I hope it will take you a little, a shorter time to solve it.